Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with emulation setup. I'll be using RetroArch and I'll be showing you how to set up the ZX Spectrum emulator. If you're new to RetroArch, go back. I've done two videos on RetroArch. My latest one is Andel's Android Devices. That's a more update one compared to the older one. So click on that one if you're new to RetroArch. Right, so the first thing we need to do, we need to go to Online Updater. We need to go to Core Downloader. So click on that. Now I am using a Bluetooth controller. Scroll down. Click on this Sinclair ZX Spectrum Fuse. Just hit the next button and I'll download and come out. Now the next thing you need, of course, is your ROMs. Quick Google search and this will play all the ROMs. The ZX, the Z, the Z8, uh, this is the tape and this TZX, as I know. Like I say, it'll play all them. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go to this, import content. This is where you'll scan your ROMs. Now I'm going to do a manual scan because when you do a manual scan, it'll pick up everything what's in that folder. Sometimes it won't pick some games up, especially Ombre, it will not pick Ombre games up. So I'm going to click on this. Contact directory. Now, this one is storage emulated. That is your device. So, if your games are on your device and held, click on this. This one here is your SD card. So, I have them on my, my actual device. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to scroll down right to the bottom. ZX. I'll click on there. Scan that directory. Then we'll go to system name. Click on that. Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Click on that one. Then we'll go to default core. All the way down again. Now if you haven't got any cores, it'll just be the first one there. I've got quite a few cores. Click on that one, and go down, and start scanning. I have put my games in alphabetical order. That's because I use them on another emulator. So I've just scanned letter A. Like I said, there's that many that I'd expect from games. Come out of there, and you'll scroll across. Now, if you've got no cores downloaded, it'll be the first one. So it'll be right there but if you have got other cores we'll go across here and there we have it when you click your top button on the four buttons this will bring up this so you can instead of scrolling through so i'm just going to go to one i'm going to load up one of my favorites manic miner I'm going to go through a few more options. Like I said, if you haven't set up Retro Arch before, I'll just go back to me. Other video that I've done. I'll go through it nice and slow so that there's no like pausing. Like this one, just nice and slow. So, we'll just click on Manic Miner. Now this will load up straight away. So now I'm going to press both of my algs because that brings me out to my options. 
few little pointers here. First of all, we'll go to core options. Make sure that's on ZX 128. And then you've no problems with any game, you load them all. Now, here, let me just click on that. All these will be clicked on, so whatever file will load up. If you want to bring a bit of nostalgia to the games, and you can take off this fast loader. So we'll go back. And then load up Minute Miner tape. And you can see. Back in the old days. Sit there for about five minutes. And we'll come back out of that. Go back into core options. I'm going to change that back. Like I said, if you want to bring memories back, we used to sit there and wait a few minutes. You can. So I'm going to click that back on. So make sure all these are on auto tape, auto load on. You can take that off as well if you don't want the sound or if you want to sit there. But make sure all these are on. Go down. Now we're going to go back out of there. And we're going to go to. Back to uh, sorry, yeah, controls. So we're going to go to control to show you the controls. Put one right. This one, I'm going to change it, make sure it's changed to Kempton joystick. That's if you're using Kempton joystick, but whatever joystick you use, when you go on a game, select a lot of times you will have to press a button to select Kempton joystick, but I've got to make sure that's on. Now another little point I'm going to show you down here is this button there, as you can see, B button, you can change that to up. As you can see, this is the button what Retro Arch will have you as a, the fire button. But this comes in handy when you're playing games like Wonderboy, Turrican, where you've got a, a jump button, where you use that back in the day, you had to press up to jump. With this, you can use your button, so you're not like up. And it won't, it won't mess up the up button in any other games. So you can change that to up. That's if you want to. I just find it a lot easier to use two buttons instead of up. And it also comes in under when you're playing some racing games where you have to press up to actually make your car go. So we'll go up. I'm going to come out of that. We're going to go to manage, re manage remap files. Sorry. And then we're going to click on save remap file as, oh sorry, this one, save game remap file. So that will be saved. Right, next we're going to go to, we'll go back to core options. And... Or oh, this one is size, size video border. Now change that to minimum. Now the next thing, if you press select, so pressing select on the control brings up the keyboard.
points as well. I think that's basically everything that I can show you. So we have got a classic, just loading this up quick for you, to show you the two button configuration. You can select. As you can see, you're using one button to jump. Button. Right to there. That's basically everything covered. If you do hit any issues, please put in the comments and get straight back to you. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry about the, uh, the mess up with the, uh, the SARS video border. Like I say, when it, it will be set to full. So if you want a full screen, just change that to minimum. Alright, thanks for watching. Give us a like, hit that subscribe, see you soon.